to my channel for those of you who don't know I have an Etsy shop go check out my items I personalized about anything t-shirts sweaters uh, tumblers um, so today I received an Etsy order and I will guide you guys through my new packaging that I will be um, sending out and new freebies that I'm going to be adding and all purchased items. I also have new designs. I'm really excited to show you guys. This is the first time that I will be packaging an item like this. So I have everything set out. I will guide you guys through how I decorate the cup first. So here we go. I have to have my morning coffee. This customer um, wanted roses all around. I have options of different color roses, so they wanted pink roses all around. They don't want any name on it, so I'm not going to add a name, but they did add a personalized note, and it's um, marked as a gift. So I'm going to go ahead and print out my label. Okay, so that is printing, and I'm going to go ahead. I Like I said, I have everything set up in front of me. So I have, um, these are the roses that they want. So I have the roses printed out. I will no longer be needing my laptop, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. I will have my label right here. I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit on what I'm going to be working on. Down. This is the cup that I will be using. It is a Starbucks cup. So I will be adding these roses. Oh. This is what the roses will look like on the cup. with all the roses and now I'm going to add some leaves not putting leaves on both sides on some roses just because it, it was going to look a little bit too crowded and it, the flower the roses wouldn't really stand out so this, okay you guys this is the finished product it's so cute so now i'm going to show you guys how i package it and all the new uh stuff that i will be included in my orders okay so when I get an order, I finish the cup, I get it all personalized. Like I said, they don't want any name on it, but if you would like, I could totally add a name. And I have a variety of colors, as you can see in the back. I also have different fonts, but for this, uh, they don't want anything. In all my cups, I add a little bit of shred. And these are the ones that I've been excited to show you guys. I recently designed my new care instructions. I am so, so excited for them. This is the first order that they're gonna go out on. Um, I'll show you guys what I had before. This is what I was putting in my cups before. Those were the ones I was using before and I designed these re recently. They are a little tumbler. They're so cute. Little things make me so happy, you guys. I was so excited when I was printing them. So I add the little shred. I'm going to be adding one of these care instructions. And the instructions on how to take care of a tumbler, especially a Starbucks cup with vinyl. Um, you you want to hand wash it 
but you don't you don't want to put it in the microwave you want to avoid leaving it in a hot car because it is vinyl it is i use permanent vinyl on all my orders but with the hot if it's too hot in the car the vinyl can melt and then it'll mess up with the image it won't be as perfect so you want to baby it you don't want to soak it either you don't want to scrub it in other words you want to baby your cup Try not to drop it when you're putting ice on it. Try not to throw in the ice because um, some people's cups have broken when you, they just throw in the ice and then the water. Uh, so just be careful with it. They're personalized. I make them with love. Take care of it. Okay. And so then I throw in my little care instructions in there. And that is it for this part. So cute. I recently bought shipping boxes i was previously using baggies and these are super cute i was using these to ship out my items i would bubble wrap them really really well i honestly have sent out many many um etsy orders out and i have not had any problems uh, but I think a box is safer and it looks so much cuter and i'm going to start adding freebies like i said before a box worth great so i bought where's my box I bought these shipping boxes that I will be using so here we go I will be adding tissue paper to the bottom of the box for that way it'll stay and won't really move just like that I will be adding my cup The straw and they asked for a note and the note is so cute it says since you're a Starbucks addict it's only right you do it in style that's pretty cool so I'll be adding that note right there and I'm just gonna move this aside because I want to show you guys my new freebies that I will be adding in all my orders so I got these clear pouches I will be adding scrunchies to my freebies so I tr I'm gonna try to match the colors um, they ordered a pink cup so I will be adding a pink scrunchie I will be putting the scrunchie in the baggie okay also I will be adding free hand sanitizers to all my orders I'm going to be personalizing them I will also be adding a thank you thank you card. Okay, so so far we have the cup, the note, I have the straw in there. I will be adding my freebie right here. I will be adding more of this shred. It's so pretty. And then I will be adding my little thank you note right there. Actually, I think I'm going to. I will be adding my sticker right here as well as with a thank you note. Just like that. the address of this customer uh, but I will be adding thank you a thank you sticker and I will also be adding a fragile sticker on the side right here since I already have everything out I'm going to show you guys how I will be packaging local orders that are 
going to be picked up. I was also using these baggies for um, local orders, but I think it is super cute to start using gift bags. So I will be packaging a local order really quickly for you guys. This customer got this super cute butterfly cup and they added their name. It is super cute. Look. And this cup has a protective covering. Like I said, I do use permanent vinyl and if the cups are well taken care of, it doesn't come off at all, but I added a protective layer on this cup. And if you have any problems at any point, don't hesitate to message me. We can totally fix it. I will be adding some shredded paper as well. I will be adding um, how to take care of your tumbler. And like I said, this is this is it for the inside. I'm going to be wrapping the cup in tissue paper. I will be adding a logo sticker on it. So close it. Okay. So I will be putting this in here. Once again, I will be adding my freebie. Uh, they were going for a more of a butterfly theme, so I will be doing this orangey one. So again, I will be personalizing it with my label, as well as a little germ. And I will be putting it in the baggie. Okay, so I will be throwing it in here. I will add a thank you note right on top. This is how I will be packaging my local orders. And this one is ready for pickup. I do have a couple more that I have to do. But for this video, that is all I will be showing you guys. Okay, you guys, that is how I package and order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you guys are interested in ordering, you can always message me or you can go directly through my Etsy shop. Hello, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bells to get notified every time I post. Lastly, I will be doing a giveaway on this video. Make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. I will be posting the instructions on there and I will be announcing the giveaway winner on my next video. Again, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.